Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw covalent bonding. The molecules I'm going to draw are listed on the side. And you can see that the molecules are made up of non-metals. So covalent bonding happens between non-metals and non-metals. And the electrons are shared between the non-metals. In order to draw the covalent bonding, you need to know the electron in the outer shell or the outermost electron. You can find the number of electrons in the outer shell by looking at the group in the periodic table. So I like to draw the first molecules, which is hydrogen. If you look at hydrogen, it is found in group 1, which means it has one electron in the outer shell. Now, one electron comes from this hydrogen and the other electron comes from the other hydrogen. So, one hydrogen now has two electrons and the other hydrogen has also two electrons. So, they have full outer shell of electrons. And since there is only one pair of electrons in the overlap, this is single bond. All right, next molecule is hydrogen chloride. So one atom is hydrogen, the other atom is chlorine. We know that hydrogen is found in group 1, so it has one electron in the outer shell, which is going to be involved in the overlap. But chlorine has seven electrons in the outer shell because it is found in group 7 in the periodic table. So one electron is going to be involved in the overlap, so the rest of the six electron is going to be outside the overlap. But if you count the number of electrons, it's 7 for chlorine. So this is a single bond because there is only one pair of electrons in the overlap. The next molecules I like to draw is chlorine, Cl2. So two atoms of chlorine are going to combine. And like I said before, chlorine is group 7, so it has 7 electrons in the outer shell. So, one electron from this chlorine and the other electron from that chlorine are going to be found in the overlap. So, the rest of the 6 are found outside the overlap. And if we count the number of electrons, it's a full shell for this chlorine and that chlorine. It's a single bond because there is a one pair of electron in the overlap. All right, next molecule is CH4, which is methane. You can see that methane has one carbon and four hydrogen. So I'm going to have a central atom surrounding the central atom. I'm going to have four hydrogen. And I know that hydrogen has one electron, so I'm just going to put the cross. And then carbon is found in group four, so in the outer shell it has four electrons. So one, two, three. And now if we count the electron for carbon, it has eight electrons, which is full shell. So methane has four single bond. The next molecule is ammonia, which is NH3. You can see that Ammonia has one nitrogen and three hydrogen. So in the center, you're going to have the nitrogen. Surrounding the nitrogen, you're going to have three hydrogen. We can always write the one electron for the hydrogen because hydrogen has one electron in the outer shell. And 
we go in the periodic table and look for the group for nitrogen, it's in group 5. So it has 5 electrons in the outer shell. So 3 of them are involved in the overlap. If 3 of them are involved in the overlap, then the leftover is 2. So we put it outside. So ammonia, which is NH3, has 3 single covalent bonds. Okay, the next molecule is H2O, which is water. In H2O, there's two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So the center one is going to be oxygen. Surrounding the oxygen, we're going to have two hydrogen. The cross I put over here belongs to the hydrogen because it has one electron. Now, oxygen is found in group 6, so it has 6 electrons in the outer shell. So, if two of them are involved in the overlap, the leftover is 4. So, we put the 4 outside. There should have been a dot. It doesn't really matter, but... Since I said the cross was belonging to the hydrogen, the dot has to be oxygen. So H2O has two single bond. Okay, the next molecule is oxygen. Now you have to remember that oxygen has double bond. If it's a double bond, then there is two pairs of electrons in the overlap, which means four electrons in the overlap. We know that oxygen is found in group six, so it has six electrons in the outer shell. So if I put double bond, like I said before, so there are four electrons, two belong to this, oxygen and the other two belongs to this oxygen. But one oxygen has six electrons in the outer shell, so the leftover one is four. So we put the four outside the overlap. And we do the same for this one. For double one we put two line. The next molecule I would like to draw is nitrogen. Nitrogen is a special one because it has triple bond. So which means it has three pairs of electrons in the overlap. Three pairs of electrons, so six electrons in totals in the overlap. Nitrogen is found in group five, so it has five electrons in the outer shell. Three is involved in the overlap from this nitrogen and three is involved from the other nitrogen. So five altogether in the outer shell, three is involved in the bonding. So the leftover one is two. So two comes outside the overlap. So you can see that there is three pairs of electron. So nitrogen is Triple bond. So this is how you draw molecules in covalent bonding. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and share. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.